Hello and welcome back to another devlog on this channel. It's been a while because I was on a great holiday in Rhodes. Had a wonderful time, but now I'm back and super excited to show you what I achieved in the last few weeks. You already can see in these mini icons right here that I've added some new resources to the game. So for now you've got the basic stone right here and the basic tree as well as an apple tree, some amethyst, coal and a gold ore. So let's jump right into our world side and as you see I've deactivated the other world sites because I think it's much cleaner and is not that full of unnecessary resources. And I reworked the world generation, so I think it's much cooler now. So there are some small rivers right here and some islands here. And of course the resource generation is now more various, which means we have the opportunity to gather a lot of more resources. Also, I added some new particles when we want to gather some resources. For example, this tree, as you see, there are now some particles which get suck into this little laser and this also works for other stuff like the stones or gold. I also managed to fix some small bugs. For example, if I had clicked on the same tile as the player is, he would jump around and make some weird behavior. But now this is fixed and I can click and nothing happens. Ray. And also there were some kind of smaller bugs regarding the movement and this is now also fixed. One of it being if the character is next to a resource and I say, hey, you can harvest this resource. The little astronaut unit always looked in this direction right here, but not in the correct one. But this is now fixed. And as you see, the particles get sucked into this laser gun and is getting harvested. And you can see we can get these resources here and make some progress on that. I think this is pretty cool and some kind of good progress for this game. Um, and I also read that the current game loop isn't that interesting, but it's okay because I think it's kind of like Pokemon <laughs> because you want to collect resources and get more and more progress. And of course, this is just the basic because you want to find more and more or you want to find more and more resources, more trees, for example. And this little number right here is the DNA count. And this is like a learning curve. And if you have some special amount of DNA for the regarding resource, you can maybe unlock some special features or special abilities. But that is something for later. And also I implemented a special feature, which was countless times in the comments. Thanks for commenting. And as you can see, the whole cube is full of clouds. This is not looking <laughs> that good, uh, I think. But it was, uh, I think, the most easiest way to get these clouds into the game. And we can click on the current world side. And as you see, the world disappeared when I ran into this special square. And I can walk into this area and the cloud vanishes. Of course, I made it that way that you can still see a little bit of this world side because I don't like the real fog of war where you can't see nothing. And this is just to get some kind of more discovery, I guess. And I really think this really upgrades the game experience. Of course, I also have to redesign these clouds or at least make some more variations of it because it honestly doesn't look that good just rotating them and also maybe add some kind of animation that the clouds move a little bit to the left to the right up and down but for now I have the functionality and I really really love it because it really adds a new discovery site for the game for example I don't know what is under this cloud so I just check it out yeah and that's basically it what I achieved the last few weeks including a little holiday <laughs> The progress is slow and steady, but I think it's okay for just being a hobby project. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button. If you have anything what you want to tell me, for example, new ideas for the game, then please comment down below. And if you really want to join my journey, then please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.